Hello YouTube, or whoever is watching. This is yet again another Super Geeks production. Today this tutorial is going to cover the introductory fundamentals of Java, compiling Java, and executing Java applications. If you are trying to run a Java C, then the file name, to compile the Java in your DOS, like so. And you get this. This is because your environment table is either incorrectly set, or you haven't downloaded Java SDK. You will need to download Java JDK in order to get Java C and Java working. You will not need Java SDK unless you also want to compile Java scripts. Th that is different than Java. They are two different languages. Similar, but one is server, one is client. Please use Mozilla. You don't have to, but if you are a student taking my class this semester for Java, I recommend that you use Mozilla due to the reason CSS, HTML, and XSS work with Mozilla. You will have a lot less errors than if you have already experienced some in Internet Explorer in Blackboard. Try using Mozilla. Follow me over to Java JDK. I spoke earlier about environments. The JDK will also include a JRE, which is a Java Runtime Environment. JDK is your Java Development Kit, which you will you be using to actually create Java bytecode. Click on Java SDK, I'm sorry, JDK, and let's go ahead and get our development kit. Accept this license. Find your distro. And proceed with download. I'm going to go ahead and cancel because I have it right here. I'm going to install this to the default directory JDK has programmed in it to install it. want to install JDK not JRE JRE will be installed after JDK is and it will automatically throw this up for you so be aware do as I do Notice C program files Java JDK 1.7.0 underscore 02 backslash 
then we will have the word bin, but we're not going to put that in there yet. Just remember that. Now as you can see, as I open my compiler, it actually opens. Earlier, if I would have tried to have opened this compiler, if it was programmed right, it would have told me I don't have JDK, which you need in order for BlueJ to take the codes that you put in for Java and to compile them into a machine language with the compiler that your computer will understand. Create a file called test java dot java, whatever you want to call it, but make sure it has dot java at the end. And also make sure your file type is all files. We must start a new class under the folder we created. We're going to call this test and make sure class is selected. Let's open our class file. Let's go ahead and delete all this. I'm going to put in here just a basic hello world text. This is a bytecode class file that is going to just say the word hello world in the DOS prompt. I'm going to click on compile. Pay attention to the bottom down here where it says file class completed or I'm sorry class compiled no syntax errors. No syntax errors is important because if you have any errors it's going to actually let you correct them in a compiler. You could do the same thing we're doing right here in notepad but it's not going to help you debug. Okay, let's go ahead and just make sure it's saved. It is. Okay, exit out of here. Close this. Go ahead and close BlueJ. We actually got JDK set up. That's good. Let's let it continue. Uh, it wants to put SDK on here. We don't need it. Don't worry about it. Now let's go to our command prompt and let's type in Java C and it still doesn't recognize anything and I'll show you why Windows has an environment table that will allow you to access certain files when you run a search or actually open an executable or run a command in this case we're running a command go over to here Start button, find your explorer, right click, then go to your explorer, go to your C drive, program files, Java. Click on JDK, whatever version you have, and then click on bin. As you can see here, we have our Java C program located in this folder. Click on the white space at the top bar, your address bar, and copy this and then close. Go to start again. Right click on computer. Go to property. Advanced system settings. <coughs> and then find your environment table at the bottom right. This is a class path that I created as a variable already. You have to do this or your class files will not be run 
with Java and they will not be able to be compiled as well right in here is variable name class path and your variable value dot that means current directory this will let you execute class files in whatever directory you're in instead of having to be in the Java file it's a great it's a great tool click OK find yourself your path variable down here in system variables and edit this whatever you have set up just go to the very end make sure you have a semicolon at the end of the statement to start a new one and then paste what you copied earlier the location to your JDK bin go ahead and click OK one more time one more time Now let's type in Java C. Just see if we can get a, a basic help dialog. Oops. I actually did that on purpose. If you have your administrator or whatever console you had open and you change your set, which is this and your path, you're going to want to open a new shell. Close this out. Open a new one. Now let's type in Java C. As you can see, we actually got some data. That's great. Java C is the command for taking a .java file and compiling it. So let's take this file we created, .java, right here. I'm going to go ahead and send it to my desktop. I'm going to change the directory to my desktop. So that's where the file is located. Now let's compile that into a dot class file which my computer will understand. Java C Hello World. If all goes well you will not get any prompt saying it worked or it didn't. It will just go to the next prompt. Now you just run a directory command again to look at our, our structure under the tree that we have selected we have a folder the tree of C okay we have a dot class file that appeared up here it's not there here it is that's because when we compiled it it created a dot class so let's run that dot class file now that we have JRE and Java SDK I'm sorry JRE and Java JDK installed. The way to do that is to type just the word Java, not Java C. And since you're in the current directory in your class path we just set up, you don't have to type in that class. Hello world. I typed in hello world with a lowercase w on purpose. I wanted you to see what the errors would come up as if you do not use the actual case sensitive attributes Java requires when running applications or programs or any batch files anything in Java Java is developed with case sensitive binary functions if you will so it gives it gives Java a lot more options in programming and class loads times are faster because there's there's more files it can index with less memory it's good it's good stuff anyways so let's go ahead and run this file with this case sensitive respect in mind and you see our java file run this introductory tutorial to Java has shown you a compiler, how to use it, how to create a class file from a Java file with a compiler and a Java development kit. We have also shown you how to configure the Java runtime environment so that you can use your class path in any directory and also so that you can authenticate your DOS command prompt with the Java user 
protocols. That is it for this tutorial. Have a good evening.